Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be sharing with you my June favorites and I don't have all that much this month. I did come up with five items but there's only two kind of makeup and beauty related ones and the other three are kind of more fun lifestyle-y favorites. So if you want to see everything I've been loving this month, please keep watching. So I can't believe June is over already and I've really been trying to get into the summer makeup vibe. So the first thing I want to talk about is the blush I'm wearing today and this is the Osmosis blush in the shade Poppy. And it's this really great bright red and I'm wearing it today but it's not super aggressive. Like depending on how much you put on, I'll put a little bit more on. You can make this like a really strong blush look which personally I like but I think you can also like how I had it on before was a little subtler and you can kind of just get a great nice like flushed summery sun kissed look from this it gives you like a nice kind of red almost like sunburned type look and I absolutely love this I have this in the shade poppy as well which is the plain pink which is kind of my go-to everyday shade but in the summer or when I want a little bit of a stronger look I love poppy and I would highly recommend this blush especially this brand it has really great like healthier ingredients for you it's really nice on the skin doesn't break you out or anything and this color is just gorgeous and second is what I have on my lips, and this is the Kopari Lip Glossy. And I recently just did a video walking through my top five favorite hydrating lip products, and I didn't include this one because it had been like a recent purchase at the point that I filmed that video, and I just didn't know how I was gonna love it. And for a long time, I was a huge proponent of just regular Aquaphor on your lips, and that's what I used forever. It works really well for me, and um, I just like, that's a standard go-to product. It's cheap, it's easy, and it works great. But I was looking for healthier um, lip moisturizing options because the Aquaphor does have mineral oil and other like not so good for you ingredients in it. So this is super healthy. Kopari is a great like, um, I think cruelty free and vegan brand I believe as well. But I, this is just a really like healthy, mostly just coconut oil lip moisturizer. And it just gives you a really easy like plain glossy look, but it's super moisturizing. I've been using this overnight as my overnight moisturizer because I stopped using my Aquaphor and it keeps my lips hydrated all night long. So it's very like rich and enough to hydrate you overnight, but it's not like too thick or sticky at all if you're wearing it during the day. It actually has kind of like a thin texture to it. So it's not too like gloopy on the lips. Like Aquaphor can be kind of thick, but it is really glossy. So if you're looking for something moisturizing that isn't so glossy, this isn't the one, but if you're looking for a nice healthy lip gloss, I would definitely recommend this. And then one more beauty related product. This is a hair tool. This is the tool structure. It's already rubbed off. Um, 502116. I don't know. It's this huge wide tooth comb. And I absolutely love this. For a long time, whenever I curled my hair, I would just like brush it out with my fingers to kind of separate the curls. But using this comb just really separates your curls perfectly. In every single video where my hair is curled recently, this is what I've used to just get that nice separation and make it kind of just look like that easy, effortless, like wavy texture, not like the ringlet curls. And everyone's always trying to go for that model off duty, beachy wave vibe. So this is what I've been using to achieve that. I just got this at Sally's. It was like $3 or something like that. But any wide tooth comb will really do. It kind of simulates like your fingers going through your hair but there's a lot more of them and it just works really well at separating your curls especially after you already like spray hairspray or something in it your like fingers can kind of get stuck in there but this comb just really effortlessly effortlessly combs through them and I even use it when my hair is straight just to kind of like make everything look nice again and not have to use like a full-on brush that's really gonna like flatten my hair this I feel kind of smooths everything out without like making it pancake flat to my head and then my two lifestyle favorites this month, the first one is this Sage Stress Release, Stress Release Soothing Oil Blend. And this is a little essential oil roller ball. I have the Peppermint Halo one from them as well, but I just discovered that there's a store for this near me. So I went in there and just wanted everything. But I bought this guy because I was having a really stressful month. Like I was really busy with work and everything. And it just smells calming and just wonderful. And I've been using this like if I was out and about and I was starting to feel stressed, I keep this in my purse now and I just rub it like wherever, like I'll just rub it on my wrist and kind of smell it and you just feel very calm and zen. If you just use this and take some deep breaths, the stress kind of starts to melt away. So I've really been loving this. I would really recommend these. They're, um, Peppermint Halo one also is really great for headaches. You rub it like on your head like a halo and I find that it works really well. So I'm really impressed with these little roller balls. And the final thing is a food favorite and it's summer appropriate because it's an ice cream and it's this Haagen-Dazs non-dairy chocolate salted fudge truffle frozen dessert. And this is a vegan ice cream. It's super delicious. Honestly, this is better than regular ice cream to me. It is like super chocolatey. There's chocolate chunks in there. There's like salty caramel, some sort of salty caramel ribbon in there. It's just fantastic. 
Honestly, this is so good. It's better than normal ice cream. It says there's three and a half servings per container. That's if you're, you know, restricting yourself. I could eat like half the container easily. And it's only 270 calories. Like essentially it's vegan, so it can't be that bad for you. Like there's no dairy. It is obviously a sugary dessert, but it's just so good. Try this. You need it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my top five favorite things from the month of June. As always, all the products that I mentioned will be listed in the description box down below, so open that up if you're curious. Also, all the makeup I'm wearing will be listed there. I also upload two days a week on Monday and Thursday, so please subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my next video. And thank you so much for watching.